Hello, guys. Glad to get back on the channel. Callum Turnbull, he's 2-0, and oh, which is good. And he is fighting on the 15th of October. Where's the fight, mate? Sorry. Uh, so it's in, it's in my hometown in Inverness in the Dramossi Hotel. Oh, was that the same place that you've had your last two fights? Uh, no, so I fought there in my... Yeah, so yeah, my last two home fights, I, I've been in there then. So... Yeah, we've we've got a contract with a hotel, so I mean we we get a cert about three fights a year, you know, in in this venue, you know. So it's they're really good to us, and it's a like it's a five star venue. It's cracking, you know. Yeah. So do you, do you have an opponent yet, or not yet? Yeah, uh, I've got an opponent. Uh, just we're just getting com like confirmation on it. I've been given a wait and that, so I've definitely. I've got a fight in sight, but we're just getting the minor details sorted out. Like, um, so I'm, I couldn't tell you who it is. So I've just been told the weight that I need to be, and well, luckily I'm there. Also, mate, hopefully it might be someone with a winning record. As you, that's what. Well, you I've I, I, I certainly put it. I put it across to my promoter. That, um, obviously the last two opponents have been a bit right. Okay, you know I get there. You've got to build a record, but I want to start testing myself. You know, so. Yeah. And I mean, he says, yeah, you'll be getting a good scrap. Um, it's no layabout, so we'll see. We'll see who it is. Is it going to be a six rounder or? Yeah, so we're looking to do six of these. Oh, that's good, mate. That's your yeah. first six rounder, is it? No, no, I've done. I've well, I've won. I've won one exhibition. I've done two six rounders. Um, and I've done oh, one. Oh yes, four. sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so um, no, six rounders. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with you know. I'm quite content. I quite like it, you know. Yes, that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who else is on the? Oh, Aiden's on the same show, isn't it? Yeah. So again, it'll just be it's me, George and Aiden again. George Stewart and Aiden Williamson. Just because we're all in that ADM, we all originate from the same club, you know. We've all got the same promoter. We all turn pro at the same time. So, I mean, between the three of us, we do really get a good sellout show, you know? Yeah. So, are you doing well with the ticket sales? Well, it's it's actually funny. Just as you called, I'm actually in the middle of doing my tickets now, you know? Uh, I've only oh, got, that's good. I've only actually got five five tickets left, like, so just get, sorting everyone's money and stuff out, you that's know? That's great, mate. How many did you uh, get? Did you get, what, I've, 90, 100? So, no, no, so we all got 100 tickets each, but I managed to get 110 sold. So I've got another five left, and then, you know, that'll do me. That's my share done, you know. Oh, so you're nearly sold out, mate. Well, yeah, I mean, I know I know George has done good with tickets. I know we didn't. we've probably got about 360 people going so far, between oh, the three of us, you know. We've all, we've all done pretty well with tickets, you know. We're all quite popular in the rest. That's, so that's it's, good. That's good. Yeah, it's it's uh, just about so just about full like full the Dramossi, you know. Um I think we can I think our promoter said we can maybe add one or two people on the tables, you know, at a push, but we're not gonna go any further than that, I don't think. Yeah. After this fight, would you want to maybe the the doors open for Scottish titles, maybe? I would glad I I would really I would really like that, uh, if I'm being honest. Um it's just like I said, I put all my. I, I say, I'm not the only one. I'm, there's lots of young boxers out there looking to make a name for themselves, and they're all training their horses off seven days a week. And um, we we don't train. We don't train for easy fights, you know. We don't train hard for easy fights. We want to test ourselves. So yeah, I would. Uh, I would like to see a Scottish title fight in the next two fights, three fights max, you know. So it is. Are you the same weight as uh? What's he called? Chris Little. Uh, I'm not sure if he's a super bound him. I might possibly be. I don't actually know. I've not checked. He um, floats in between. I think. Does he? All right. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm not too sure. He's only. Is he? He's only one or two. He's quite new into the game as well, isn't he? No. So basically, he had. He's two and one. But he had two fights, like, back in 2014, and he's just recently made the comeback. Yeah. All right, okay, okay. And he fought the same guy you fought, Luke Merrifield. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 But no, he, like says, he, says, so, I mean, he said that he's that, fighting I, 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 Scott McCormack. Who's that, Scott? All oh, right, okay. That, when's he fighting him? Um, 
couldn't give you a date, but I think it's. I October. think I think I've seen a few Instagram, but on the Saint Andrews page, like on the yeah. Instagram, I think it's quite soon. Like, yeah, no, I mean, there's there's a few Scottish names I'd like to get in the mix with, you know. Um, like I said, I'm in mean, it to push myself, you know. Uh, like said, Joe Ham and all that, you know, like lots of good yeah. names. Uh, start boys that are undefeated, you know, Arm McGarvey and that that I could get him with, you know, it'd be, it'd be good. Uh, good to get unbeaten boys against each other in Scotland, yeah, you know? because you want to take their own. Well, that's it. We, I'm, I'm, we're all in it for the same reason, and that's to win it. So, yeah. Well, get this six rounder out of the way, and I can't. Well, that's it. Will I it mean, be? My, my... Will it be on that J A T V? Uh, I think it. I think Jamie will be appearing again, and you'll be doing all the filming again. I fingers crossed. He is. I'll need to. I'll need to check that first. Yeah, because your last two fights against Taylor and Merrifield are on there. I don't think the one with Reese Taylor's on it, uh, but Merrifield's definitely on it. Um, yeah, the one yeah, with Merrifield. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah, I, yeah. I remember yeah. watching that one. I, mm-hmm. Funny enough, I think I rewatched the fight the other day. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, no. You knocked him down, what was it, twice? Twice, yeah. Uh, it was nearly three times, but I think the I think the rope saved him. Uh, I caught him with a double jab to the head and a, le- a big left hook to the body, and I'd, I'd seen him sort of sit down on the ropes and sort of bounce back up and just go out of the way. But, yeah, no, I dropped him in the first round with a straight left, and then I dropped him in the, the fourth round with a right hook on the chin. Yeah, that, that was but, a I mean, clean he, he got up. Shot. What's that? That was a great shot, the second one, right on the chin. Yeah, yeah, no, um, but no, I mean, credit to him, he got up, you know, and he, he battled on through, so, I uh, like I said, a lot, a lot of eager boys out there, you know, you can't talk to them, you know. Yes. Um. So, have you been training today? Uh, well, obviously, I'm a bit, a bit sort of sweaty, and I've literally just come in from the gym, had my dinner, and um, just jumped straight on to all this ticket business, you know. Yeah, yeah. So now I'll, I'll let my dinner go down and then I'll jump in the sauna and sweat out on my dinner and then go to bed. So so how much, would, like, are the tickets? So how much would, like, the standard be normally if anyone... So the sta- so standard out, because basically what we have in the Dramosi is you get, with every ticket, you get a free course meal. Um, and you've obviously got the outer row, the middle row, and you've got the so, I mean, we do actually give it for a really good price. I mean, for shows down in Glasgow, you know yourself, you get VIP seats with free course meals that are about £250 a ticket. We sell them for 80 And then our outer row tables, which are like at the back, they're 60 Middle row, 70 so like it says, They're the team, better prices. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's well with the times we're living in. It's it's quite difficult, you know. Everything's going up in prices. The the cost of living is ridiculous. Um, so we just want to give fans what they want to see for a fair price, you know. We make our we make our purses. My my promoter and manager makes a bit of bit of profit. Then the fans get to see they get to have beer and scraps on one night for a good price. Yes, that's what the fans like, mate. Exactly. And um, so when you get in this, I'm sure loads of people are looking forward to this fight, as you said. It's so it's step up in opponent, and it's yeah, you give it a little scrap, and hope you you never know, mate. You might catch him flush. Well, I mean, look, we've been working on stuff in the gym. Like we don't, like he says, we don't know who we're fighting, but that doesn't stop us from going over tips and tricks. You know, um, I've always went with the theory: you time a shot right, you can do a lot of damage. You can go in with someone that might throw ten shots, and that none of them might hit you. You throw in, and you've seen it yourself. I throw one shot, and boys go down. So that's all I'm working with just now: pick my shots, and hopefully more boys will be dropping and not getting up this time. Do you think you'll be main event or do you think George will as he's been main event the last two times? No, I was the main event in the first Ramosi. So I I'd like to say that Aiden might get a shot at it. Um it's only fair in my eyes. Um yeah, fair in the right. first Ramosi I was but the thing with the thing it goes though, it's is with ticket sales. Um so Stevie, our promoter, he just says, Right, whoever sells the most tickets, they're the, they're headlining the show. 
which I can say is a, a fair reason. But I mean, it'd be nice to see if Aiden gets a shot because I mean, he's a good fighter, good entertainer. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind going on first to be honest, just so I can get in and get out, you know. Do you so have you sh- have you been sparring with them both? Uh, well, I've been sparring. I've been sparring with uh, George. Uh, I've been up and down sparring in Aberdeen. Um, so yeah, I was I was sparring tonight. I did what ten ten three minute rounds. Um, so that's my routine. Oh, so you'll get every... ten rounds under your belt, which is good. Ten threes every Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Saturday. Um, you must be in that gym last... a lot, mate, which is good. Ah, oh, you tell me about it. It's a second home for me. Like, if I had my own way, I'd have my own bed in that place. Yeah, mate. That, that's good. Anyway. Just keep working hard, and you'll get these titles very soon. And wait. Well, you... that's it. I'm out to I'm out to impress people. Um, every every time I box, I, I don't care if it's someone who I may know I might beat. I don't think of it like that. I, I train for every fight like it's a world title fight. Yeah, because you never know, mate. If you're not on your A game, at the end no. of the day, it's a fight. One shot it takes to put you down and put yeah. you out. Um, and I mean, it's it's like we've spoke about before, you know, you've got these um road warriors and journeymen, whatever you want to call them. You can't, you can't look at their records and think, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to walk over that. The, the odd one will surprise you. And yeah. you know you've just I don't see I don't look at their records I don't I don't bother look at rewatching their fights like previous you know because no fight is the same I go in and I find out what they do on the night yeah that that's the spirit mate that's the spirit exactly like it says I don't I don't ever watch back on their previous because no fights the same have you do you watch back on your fights I mean I'll. I mean, I do sometimes. It depends if I'm in the gym, and if I'm if my coach Laurie's asked me to work on a shot, I'll go back and I'll look when I back when I've previously used it, and I'll work on it to see how I can I can set it up better. You know, throwing feints or even just a little foot movement. Work on ways to see how I can make it better. Yeah, that that's good. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was like this evening there. Uh, I've got a friend who I'm training just now. He's going to be making his amateur debut in in uh, Dramossi, and he actually brought up um, the fight with Merrifield where I dropped him in the first round with a left straight, a right, and then another left, and I got him doing that combination. You know, and it's you know it's good. You know, he can work off these things. Oh, so you help people train as well? Yeah, so I'm a registered co- amateur coach as well. So I've got my coaching badge and corner badge. Oh, that's good. So. When's he fighting? Uh, he's fighting in December. Uh, I think it's the tenth of December. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. In so our got... fights, is it always three rounds? Pardon? Will he be fighting in like three rounds? Is it? Out? Yeah, so it'll be three, three threes. He'll be doing, you know, three threes. Well, I was, I was down in Aberdeen uh, this weekend, just gone with six boys getting all their medicals, and they're all going to fight in December as well. So we yeah. we normally have about. 10 or 11 boys boxing on our amateur shows. Yeah, so there's a few good Scottish talents coming through. Oh, every day, to be fair, mate. I mean, uh, watching uh, the, the junior team over doing the Europeans, you know, they're all to a good start, you know. Um, now, Scotland are really, really uh, doing well for themselves. And I mean, especially after the, the past Commonwealth Games, you know. Three medals, you know. I hope that's given all the the youths, the juniors, and schoolboys and schoolgirls a bit of an, a bit of inspiration, you know. Yeah. Have you been watching? So, will you be watching the big fight next weekend with Connor Ben and? I, I will Shuba. be watching that. I will Who be watching that. Wins? In my eyes, Eubanks got more to lose because he's been around longer. Uh, he's built his name. Connor's a young young man coming through the ranks quick and fiery, um. So I don't think Eubank can underestimate or look at his or look at their father's past and think, oh, I've got this, um. Because we've all got to remember that Nigel Ben nearly beat Eubank in their last fight, so he can't be looking at the past. They need to look at now, and right now, Connor's hung. Connor's more hungrier fighter. So, so do you oh. think Connor will get the win? 
and Connor will get the win. I don't think it'll be an easy win. It won't be easy. Uh, I don't underestimate Junior. He's done well, but no, nah, Connor Ben all the way. Well, it'll be a good fight, and we'll see what happens on the night. I think Absolutely. personally, I think Chris Eubank Junior. I, I mean, I do. I can see why people think. Uh, and I mean, he's got the chance. I won't take that away from him. But he needs to be smart about it. He needs. He can't. He can't get hot headed with Ben. Ben's dangerous on the front foot, and I don't think Eubank's that dangerous on the front foot. Eubank's better on the back foot. Yeah, because we saw we saw what happened with um Eubank and Williams. Do you think Eubank should have finished Williams off? I really seriously had big, but I I had. I seriously have big sights on Williams beating Eubank, eh? I seriously did. Did you? Um, I, I did. I, I do. I really rate Williams, if I'm being honest. But um, I think what that was personally for Liam Williams was maybe maybe just the night and maybe the, the event, you know, that's a big, big, big bill he was on against a, a, well, a brilliant fighter, you know? But I reckon Williams could do better. Um but maybe just maybe not. It just wasn't his night. Yeah, we've seen better of Williams, and hopefully. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But I mean, it's like I said, these big events that can get to you, you know. Well, we was in Williams's hometown, so we had a bit of pressure on him. Well, there you go. Then exactly, you know, you're up. The whole players always. Do you, do you get? Do you get pressure? Because you know the crowds behind you. Do you ever feel pressure? Not so much pressure because I know myself, I know what I've got to do to win. Um, obviously, like fight fans, they want to see a big scrap, this and that. But you know yourself as a boxing fan, you've got to do what you've got to do to win. doesn't matter if you go forward and try and tear the boy's head off or if you sit nice and relaxed, pick your shots and outbox him. You do what you got to do to win. Personally, I reckon you sit back nice and tight, you pick your shots smart, you hurt them with a one, two, or single shots, and then once you've hurt them, you attack. You've got to be smart about it. Yeah. Don't just catch them and then just run in and throw whatever. Be smart about it. What do you think is happening with um Tyson Fury? Because he's all over the place at the minute. Uh, honestly, I, actually, I literally just had someone ask me that at the gym, uh, saying that Frank Warren's asked them to give him a couple of days to rethink about his op- his proposition and that but I mean Fury doesn't even know what he wants to do I'm being honest he, re- he, he, he retires and he says I don't need no ma- more money I've got all the money I need for my family this and that comes back after Usyk beats Joshua I want 500 million I don't think so mate yes I'm, I'm you're getting not gonna, bored you're not, of it yeah. now yeah, yeah I mean, don't it. get me wrong I still I, I, I don't get why he wants to fight Joshua when he lost, why does he not want to fight you, sick? It's not the personally. I don't see it as the fight everyone wants to see. I know boxing, and I know I want to see you, sick versus Fury. Yeah, but I can get why people want to see like the old, like the best British heavyweight clash. Yeah, happen. the British I can see, but I mean, after Joe Joyce's performance this week, I reckon he'd be better fighting Joe Joyce. Personally, um, Joe Joyce, he did well. Parker, didn't he? Quite well. Did you see that end shot? That was beautiful. I did, and and to be honest, though, like, it was when your mom was throwing. It was a fl- I can't remember what round it was. It was a flurry of just right hooks to the body, just right hook, right hook, right hook, right hook. I didn't even phase him. Honest to God, your mom Parker is just solid, and I mean that. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's the first time he's been knocked out. It is, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, so I mean, no, Joyce is that would be a brilliant fight if they want a British. Do you think Joyce beats AJ? Right now, yeah. Right now. Really? Yeah, I mean, uh, Joshua only won his fights. No, I'm not doubting him. He was a brilliant fighter for what he did in the period of time, but he only won it with one, with two punches, a straight one-two, and that's what he knocked out half these boys with. He's not going to land that against the likes of Fury, Joyce, Usyk. He, they're too, uh, their agility is just nuts. What about he Wilder? Needs... Wilder would just knock Joshua out. 
In how many rounds? And personally, I reckon Joshua is a better boxer, but he's not got the boxing capability to get past Wilder. Wilder would hit him. What well, I would say Wilder in seven to beat AJ. Oh, see, I don't know around there. Uh, around, but definitely would knock AJ out. Yes. But, I mean, for the time that AJ's been in the sport, he only started boxing at 18. <laughs> How many people have you seen do that, you know? 18 years old. How Olympic old are you, mate? Are you, what, 20, 19? 20, uh, 23. 23, yeah, so... And how old did you start boxing? Can you remember? I was 10, I was Ten years old when I started. So you started young. Mm-hmm. I wish I started younger, like, but no, it is no, what I it start... is, and you're where yeah, you are now, good. which is good. Well, well, I mean, yeah, I'm where I am now, but I mean, I I hurt my hand a couple of times. That cost me about six years on and off the sport. So I mean, see, if I didn't hurt my hand, I know, for example, I'd I'd be a completely different fighter, better. But I can't think about. What if I'm here now? I'm doing my thing now. That's that's all I'm thinking about. And and you're winning, which is just the main thing. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. And like I said, hopefully we just get past this one. And I'm sure you will. Just, You'll beat him up. Step up, step up. That's it. Thank you for your time, mate. And you're that's gonna go problem, three pal. and zero. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, that's the plan, my man. Good luck, mate. Right. Take it easy, it. mate. Yeah. Bye.